Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In this Ruby snack, I'll be taking you through using Capybara email and letter opener to test your mailers. If you've been following along in this series where I demonstrate dev gems, you'll see that Capybara email is actually new to the list. In the last few weeks, I've had a few projects where I've needed to test email and have found this gem to be very useful. So I'm adding it to my list of dev gems. For today, if you want to code along, you'll need a Rails app created, RSpec installed and set up, and Starship or any model created. And again, a recap of the gems that we've been going over. If you've been following along, you will need to add Capybara email to your gem file and run bundle. With Capybara email, you can easily test action mailer and mail messages in your Capybara integration tests. It comes with some built-in methods that you can use. Let's take a look. Here we are on the GitHub page for Capybara email. So you'll see down here some usage for RSpec. These are the methods that you can use when testing. You can also use it with Cucumber and with unit tests. And you'll see down below here's some information on how to set up your test host. We're actually going to be using letter opener, uh, but that's how you would set it up if you're not. With letter opener, you can preview email in the default browser instead of sending it. This means you do not need to set up email delivery in your development environment, and you no longer need to worry about accidentally sending a test email to someone else's address. So it's an easy way to see that email and make sure it looks like how you expect it to look. Taking a quick look at the GitHub page, there's some information about Rails setup and for non-Rails setup. There's also a reminder that this needs to be used when you run the server locally and not elsewhere. Jumping into the code, the first step is to set up these two gems in our app. We need to tell the development environment to use letter opener to deliver these mailers. And then we need to require the Capybara email RSpec gem in our spec Rails helper. Jumping into our text editor, let's open up config environments development. And I will just scroll to the bottom and add that configuration line at the bottom. And we'll copy that in to set it to letter opener. Next, we'll go to spec and Rails helper and include that require line. So that is now including our new gem. Now we're ready to start using Capybara email in our specs. Today, we're going to update our Starship feature spec to include a new expectation that will test the mailer. Using simple BDD, we're going to add to our scenario visitor can create Starship with crew members, the last line, then visitor receives Starship email. We're still leaving it open and not logging in, so we'll just have the user enter an email address where we can send this email. So when we enter the Starship info, we will also enter the email address. Next, we'll define the visitor receives Starship email method. And here's where we start to use Capybara email. We will open that email to melissa.rubythursday.com and we'll expect the current email to equal that email address and expect the email subject to say, hey, Starship created, and we're gonna expect it to have content, congrats. At the end, it's important to clear the emails to make sure anything with our testing goes away and doesn't clog up our app. Now we'll put those in place. Let's go to spec and to features into the Starship spec where we will add those new lines. So first let's add under the scenario visitor can create Starship with new crew member. We'll add that new method and then we'll come down and add that we're going to fill in an email address now for the Starship. And then moving down, we will add that completely new method just underneath the other methods. So let's adding in the visitor receives a Starship email. Okay, and save that. Now, of course, we run the spec. Always, always run the spec when you update it. Opening up the terminal, I'm already in the app and I'm now running our spec spec features Starship spec to see what we should do first to make our spec pass. Okay, and then scrolling up we see that it did not find the email. So we will start first with adding the email address. 
we're simply going to add the email attribute to Starships. First, we'll run a migration to add email to Starship with the email as a string. We'll rake db migrate and then add that field to the form. Then we'll add email to the Starship params. Back in our terminal, we will run the Rails migration command to create that email for Starship. It creates it. And I, I get, always like to go and look at the migration file just to make sure I didn't make a typo, just to make sure it's doing what I think. And yes, it's going to add email to Starship. So let's rake db migrate to add that to the database. Okay, great. And now we will go ahead to the view. And I'm going to add it at the end after the crew members. So let's add it after that so that they understand the email address is optional. So you can enter your email address and receive awesome stuff. All right, and make that pretty and then save. And then we will move on to the controller. So controller, Starship controller. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to that private method, Starship params. I'm just going to replace this so that email will be in there so that it will save. Let's run the spec again to see where we are. And now we're getting a new error, so that's progress. It's saying undefined method two for nil class. Well, that two refers to current email, so that means it can't find the current email. So now we should add the mailer. We're going to create a pretty basic mailer going off of the Ruby Guides mailer basics. In the terminal, we'll put in the command Rails G mailer Starship mailer. And in that mailer, we will set the default from and then define the Starship created email that will take in Starship as a parameter. And then we'll mail it to the Starship email and have that subject like we put in the spec Starship created. Next, we'll create a view for the email that matches the method, so Starship created email. And we'll put in here some basic things, especially we're going to put in the P style color blue Starship name so that we can see it when we open it with letter opener. Finally, you need to say, hey, when is this email going to be sent? We'll send it directly after we create it. So after the Starship saves, we'll call Starship Mailer, Starship Created Email with the new Starship, Deliver Now. Alrighty, let's implement this code. I've run the Rails G Mailer Starship Mailer. So it creates all these things for the mailer. Now let's go and edit the new mailer. So we'll open up Mailers, it's a new folder, into Starship Mailer. And now we will add all of the default and that method and save that. Next up, we need to create that new view. So we'll go down to Views Starship Mailer and make a new file. And we'll save that right away as Starship created email and dot HTML dot ERB. There we go. And save. Okay, and then we will add that HTML that we wrote up before and save that. Next up, we will go back to the controller and scroll on up to that create method and add in our call right after if Starship save. We're done. And of course, let's check out our spec. Let's see what happens now that we've added the mailer and it passes. Hooray. Finally, let's start up our Rails server so that we can play around with letter opener. So I've started up the server and I'm going to go ahead to the Starship's new path and I'll enter in a Starship name. Of course, Enterprise comes to mind. And I'll go ahead and enter a crew member. My favorite is Jean-Luc Picard. So I will enter that. And then finally, I will put in the email address. So just simply melissa at rubythursday.com. And then I will cr hit create Starship. And you'll see that right away a new browser window opens showing you the email. So we can see that it's blue and it's looking good. 
you can see how letter opener will be really helpful for emails that are more designed with different layouts and with more exciting HTML and CSS. That's it for this episode of Ruby Snacks detailing Capybara email and letter opener. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's easy. Just click that button right there on your screen. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com and sign up to my mailing list. Click on that red ruby and it'll take you right there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.